Hello, this is Josias, and today we're going to learn how to automatically create a personalized video for every type form lead, every person that fills out a web form, a specific web form using this specific service, which is type form. Okay, so uh, let me show you one personalized video example I created a few minutes ago for this tutorial. And here it comes the personalized field, which is my name and this text, okay? Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is to create a personalized video for every person that fills out this specific web form. In order to do that, we're going to use three services. The first one is, uh, of course, Typeform. The second one is Session, which is our platform, our solution to automatically create the personalized video for every lead, every customer, every prospect, every content, etc. And the third one is uh, Zapier, which is a service that uh, connects several services uh, without any technical knowledge. You don't need to be a developer to use it, which is amazing. Okay, uh, so let's get it started. This is the web form I'm going to use in, uh, for this tutorial. And this is actually a web form that a survey we're going to launch uh, in the following hours. Uh, to ask our users and clients what kind of personalized video templates they want us, they want us to, to create for free for them for the new session platform, which is coming soon. So let me fill out the web form really fast for you, so you can see the, the process. Here we give a little bit of context. So we really want to make it easier for you. Uh, the new session platform is like a one, two, three step platform. You won't need to, to any help from us to use it, which is amazing. Let's continue, and now let's to choose what kind of templates uh, we want, well, I want in this case, uh, session to create for me. Okay, so I really like customer engagement templates, and now my email. Feel free to write me whenever you have any question, we are always happy to help. Okay, submit it, and we are done here, great. As you can see, type form is actually great. Now we're going to use Zapier in order to create the connection between Typeform and Session. But before that, let me give you a little bit of context about Session. So what Session does is to create personalized videos from any data source. This personalized video, this is a template that is, has been created with four background videos, which is this one here, this is one video, this is another video, okay? Here we have another video, and finally here we have another video and a text, and of course the, so the, the soundtrack, okay? Great. So in this case, this is the only personalized field or dynamic media that I will use for this template. And this is the template within the session platform, and as you can see here, these are the, these are the elements we are using in this template, the soundtrack, the video, the first video, the second video, third video, fourth video, and here the message. As you can see here in message, I told the platform that this is a dynamic media, meaning this is the personalized field that Zapier will display in order to uh, inject information coming from uh, Typeform, okay? The other elements, those are what we call template media. They're always the same within all, well, with all the videos created with this specific template. Great. So now let's go back to, let's remember the, name, the template name, type form, template. Let's go back to Zapier. Okay, in Zapier, the great thing about Zapier is you, you always choose two apps, one trigger app and one action app. In this case, the trigger app where we're sending information from is type form. Okay, type form, here we are, type form. So when this happens, I want session to create a video every time there is a new a new lead uh, using my web form, okay? And I want session, as I said, session is the platform that will create a personalized video. The action within the session side is to create a video. As you can see, I'm connecting two apps without any technical knowledge. I'm not a developer, I'm a marketer, so this is amazing. I already connected or added my credentials in order to use Typeform within Zapier. I'm gonna do the same with session Click continue, and here I could add, sorry, any other service from Salesforce to uh, 
Google Sheets to create uh, videos from spreadsheets, from WordPress, CRM, marketing automation software, active campaign, etc. It's amazing. So now, let's continue with the next step here, which is telling Zapier and telling Session where what's the web form I want to use. Okay. So in this case, I only have one web form, which is the one you saw before from this survey, which is personalized video templates, which is this one here. And now, I won't use any, any custom filter. I could use specific filters, but I won't use it just to make this tutorial faster. Now this is the session part. I'm gonna tell Zapier, and of course, uh, and of course uh, Typeform, what's the, the session template I want to use. So I'm gonna choose the template from my session account, which has already been connected. So it's the last template I created, which is this one here, Typeform template. Okay, and now Zapier will display the metadata fields as well as the dynamic media that this template has available, because that's what we told uh, Session before. We told Session that there is only one dynamic media, which is this one here. This is the only field that Zapier will display here as a custom, as a as personalized field to inject information. So for the dynamic media, I will use something like, like for the title, sorry, we'll use something like um, this lead name. Uh, 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 what's your name? Okay. That's the first field we saw before on type form here. <clears throat> What's your name? Okay. Then, uh, thank you. Something like thank you. You are amazing. You are amazing. Okay. Then I, I will add a description the same. Thank you for helping us with this survey. For example. Keywords, I uh, will upload the video to YouTube, so uh, to our YouTube channel, so I will add something like session, session TV. Will be hidden, but just that this person will could see other videos from session. And now I'm, I will add the email for, from that for that person, because then I want to send the, the generated video by email to that person using another zap. The combination between two Two apps within Zapier are called Zaps. Okay, so here's the email, which is the last question we asked. Okay, we really appreciate it, etc., etc. That was the question for the email. <laughs> it's a really long field. And now the 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 text. So the, in this case, it would be something like, uh, "What's your name?" I already had the text already. So what's your name, which is Josias, for example. This is the kind of day we wish you have today, just because you are amazing. That's what we saw before, okay? This text. So I'm combining fields, inserting fields from Zapier slash Typeform and using those fields in session two, okay? With the, the, the fields we are copy pasting in this case. Continue, test it, we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna make a test. Oh. Come on, now, let's test it. And then Zapier send information to session. And here we have it. Let's refresh this page. Done, and now let's play it on YouTube. YouTube is processing the video. So in the meantime, well, here we have it. Great. So as you can see here, we have the dynamic field within the video as well as here as part of the meta metadata. Okay, the title, description, etc., and the keywords where you can see the keywords. Can't see the keywords, sorry, because 
I'm not logged in, in into my session uh, YouTube account, YouTube channel, YouTube channel. Sorry. Great. So now we have created this. Let's give give this a name. Uh, for session type form session. Okay. Let's continue. And now let's send that video by email. I'm going to create another zap, in this case from session to Typeform, well, to, to Gmail or any other email service. Every time a new video is created using session and using this specific session template, I want to send that video by email. I'm going to use, for example, Zapier, Zapier's email app. Email app. Send. Okay, Zapier will give me now uh, what 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 it's called a webhook, which is a it's like a notification system between two apps. Okay, so I'm gonna paste that webhook here within my session my session template here, where it says webhook. That's all you need to do. Just save it, and let's go back to Zapier. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue, and. For the email, well, first Zapier will ask us, will request us to create a video using this webhook, so they have, they can have that information. So I'm going to go back to the the app we created before, the Zap. Sorry, we created before. I'm going to create one video with that Zap. That way, Zapier has that information as well. Okay, they found changes. Great, all done. And now let's now we can click here in insert fields and there is a field we need which is this one here, email. This is the field we added as a custom metadata here. Okay. And now I will add a subject to this email. For example, the video title we use it. So see, I think, thank you, you are amazing, for example. Hi, thank you for helping us with this survey. We created this video for, for you because you are amazing. And now for the video, we will use the YouTube ID for that video, which is this one here, YouTube ID. And before the ID, we'll need to use the this one, what you can see here, which is the YouTube video structure. Everything from HTTPS to V equal equals, etc. Okay, where are we? It's not this one here. We paste it here. Okay, so this is the video URL structure. No attachments from name, that's for example my name, Lucia de la Espada. Reply to, for example, my email. And that's all. Continue. Let's test it. Okay, here we have it. Josias de la Espada. Josias, thank you. You are amazing. Hi, thank you for helping us with this survey. We created this video for you because you are amazing. Of course, you can create a, <laughs> a better copy. This is just for testing purposes. And here we have the video. Great. So that's how you do it. If you need any help at all with this, just let us know. We're going to do our best to help you. You can always write me at josias at session.com. And you can also use our support chat with, with which you will find here or write at help at session.com or also find us on Twitter at session, S-E-Z-I-O-N. Happy to help. Have a great day. Bye.